This is one of the favorite ways I use my two-piece bow staff. I take it apart and I practice my Kali or Eskrima, our niece, or I use it to warm up the shoulders, kind of like an Indian swinging club. But the great thing about the two-piece bow staff, if you've been thinking about getting one, is you can take it apart and you can travel with it a lot easier. They make these in three different sizes. And I know you've asked me this before, so I wanted to show you the different links. I'm gonna put this one back together. You can see that it pretty much screws together, just like a pull cue. And that's probably where whoever came up with it figured it out. Hi, D. It's good to see you. D's in New Zealand. We're talking about two-piece bow staff. They make these in three basic sizes. I'm trying to reach the other one. There we go. Basically, the size of a Joe martial arts size, or martial arts staff, the small one. And then a five-foot size. And then one that's just a little bit about six feet tall, I think. I think, yeah, this one's the six feet, five feet, and four feet. So you have three sizes. You can pick one size. I like to use all the three for different reasons, depending on what I'm doing. When you have a low ceiling, you can practice. They're super lightweight. They're not, hello, uh, NYC Prepper, it's good to see you. They're not the most uh, sturdy thing. So you're not going to be striking or hitting things with it. It's not a self-defense staff. It's uh, practice while you're on vacation or if you're traveling or you have a small space. You want to be able to practice your basic techniques, then you can use the short one. Also, the great thing about the shortest one is that it mimics the same size as the Kali or the our screen, our knee stick or a short sword. So you can practice you could use just one, you can use both. You can use or practice your Sinawali patterns in the air. You can do this on the bag. I've hit the bag with these pretty hard, but you can't go really too super hard. And if you wanna see what the dimensions are, what the cost is, there's a link below. It's the first link. It's somewhere on the, in that uh, martial arts store. But it's got a pretty substantial screw in one side. The other side has a uh, fitting inside of it. And you can see it's got this thing here. It's kind of like a graphite on the end. And then it has a coating on it, which is really hard. And it really does look like a pull cue. So if you've ever played pool, you've seen a two piece pull cue. It's pretty much like that. But the question is, is a two piece bow, two piece bow staff, bow staff, two piece bow. Bow staff is like saying staff staff. Yeah, F floppy says you can't screw apart your broomstick. And the broomstick is how I started, or with a rake, something like that. That's a great way to start. But if you're looking for something that you can then kind of level up with, and get serious into your training, or these are great if you go to competitions and you do any type of freestyle, where you do forms, kata, bow kata, especially the karate style, American karate style, what we call you know, the um, extreme martial arts tricking, um, I'm trying to think of the big brands. XMA was the, the first one, kind of the older one. Uh, and NYC Prepper says, good coordination, both hands. Absolutely, thank you. That comes from years and years of just playing with it. And that's the point. That's the point of using martial arts weapons is that you become ambidextrous very quickly in a short period of time, your right hand and your left hand, and it's good for your brain. So these are great ways to you know, break up the monotony, do some cross training. You're not gonna hit anything with these again. If you try to strike something with that, you're gonna break it. It's not sturdy enough. The little kids, they do, they take, they come in here, they pull them apart and they pretend like they're Darth Maul or Darth Vader. That's another thing if you're a big Star Wars fan, it can be like a double-bladed lightsaber and you can take it apart and you can practice all the same things that you, you would with two swords with that and you can switch your grip you can fight like it was a sonata i can't I'd never say it <laughs> um whatever the, the the female jedi in the star wars cartoons and movies i think um some of you guys you can put that in the comment if you know what i'm talking about but you can fight like in, in this position and then you can you know swing it back in you can do all kinds of fancy things that you can do with a single sword, or if you know how to fight 
with two swords without smacking them together like that, you can do it with that. So that's pretty much how you would use your two-piece bow if you wanted. So it's almost like having multiple weapons, short sword, long staff, collie stick, extremist stick, all in one. And I got these originally for travel because you can put this in the same thing, like if you carry a golf club, a lot of people like to carry their favorite putter. Some people carry their whole, all their clubs, right? But some people just carry one club. You can put this in a case and put it in the um, check-in baggage. And then wherever you go, you have something if you're on an extended trip and you want to be able to exercise, that's where maybe you get the shorter one and then you practice in your room. Low ceiling, use a shorter one, middle one, or you know, we practice as a walking stick, it doubles as a walking stick. So you can practice your forms, practice your kata. Again, you might wanna use this, they're super lightweight, so that means it's gonna go extremely fast, and it's what's called the toothpick style, meaning that it's narrow on one end, fat in the middle, and then just as narrow on the other end. And so it makes for a great uh, demonstration Performance is the word I'm looking for. Performance or demonstration staff that you can do all kinds of fancy techniques, palm rolls, wrist rolls, all that kind of stuff. The one thing I will say is that once you've had it for a while, the middle, it's just, it starts to get a little bit looser. But I found that if you take a little bit of the sticky stuff, like you get in packaging, I'll put some sticky stuff in there and you screw it together and then it doesn't, doesn't come unstuck. Or, you know, the things you put, like you put a picture on the wall that's not permanent. I can't think of what it's called, those sticky, sticky strips and you put it, hang up a kid, your kid's picture and you pull it and it pops right off. Those things are perfect for putting in the middle of those so they don't come unscrewed when you don't want them to, but then you can still unscrew them enough. Alita, it's good to see you. I just, I, I got this question from somebody recently on the Patreon, someone asked me, can I show how I use my two-piece bow staff? So I just wanted you to see, I wasn't gonna give you a tutorial on how to use a staff. I've got literally 600 and some videos on that, but I thought I could show you how you would use or why you would wanna have one of these if you've had any interest in it. If you want a really durable st uh, staff that you're gonna use every day, I would not buy this. If you want one that's a little bit nicer and fancy and it's gonna move really fast and it looks pretty, it's cool and you can take it apart, you can travel with it, then yeah, this is a great investment. But that's the answer how I use my two-piece bow staff. If you have one, please put in the comment section below what you like about it and what you don't like about it so that this video can act as kind of a review or a guide for anybody who's coming and wants to know, should I invest my money? Should I spend money on one of these two-piece bow staffs? And again, the link's below if you want to see what they cost. And there are three sizes. And this is I'm uh, six foot one, but I'm standing on mats, so I sink. So this one's a little bit taller than me. Uh, as I stand here, if I stand on the hard surface, we're the same height. Uh, this one, yeah, I think is the four foot, and this one would be five feet, or maybe it's a little bit taller. But you can figure that out if you go to that first link below. But I just wanted to give you that basic guide in case it's something you've been considering. I'll see you guys in a little bit. We're gonna do a um, couple fighting videos this week and some more self-defense videos and I was gonna talk about practical self-defense. I was at a seminar all day today, and for the last two weeks, all I've done is talk about security. So I've been deep, deep, deep in discussions about keeping people safe, keeping families safe, keeping children safe especially, and a lot of things I wanna share with you. So that's gonna be coming up in the next few videos. But I wanted to take a minute, because I promised this video, and so I wanna deliver, because I appreciate your guys' questions so much. I'll see you in a little bit, thank you.